Emily, I talked to you for the first time about two weeks ago. And at that yeah. time, you had a busted leg and you were on a walker and you had just been released from the, the Damn, hospital, yeah. right? Because you had been ran over. And I don't see a walker today, but you still yeah. have a, a soft cast. Yeah, I still got it. Actually, it's still the same bandage. Um, yeah, I actually got a wheelchair. Like, um, my one of my good friends, like Skip and stuff, like he's also homeless. Um, he got me a wheelchair. He was, it was like, yeah, actually, most of them have actually been like, like, oh, we need to get you a, like a wheelchair and stuff because like the hospital were like, oh, like we only got a lady walker and it's honestly, it's so hard walking on that, you know? So it's kind of nice to like rest and stuff on the, the wheelchair, which I feel like my leg has been getting better and stuff. But I still sometimes like, I'd be kind of just like um, leaving my wheelchair behind <laughs> um, and walking and stuff. Cause like, I mean, I need to exercise on it and then i don't know i'm just like uh i hate being trapped like i don't know i hate like i hate healing the healing process but yeah i feel like i mean it's probably for a reason you know because i'm i am very like like um active and stuff like so and stuff and like i just like i'm a, a thrilling junkie you know what i mean i love the thrill i love exploring i'd be going too fast sometimes for my own good that i'll be thinking about the consequences um but yeah um uh legit like actually like i can't believe i ran into you like legit like i'm actually uh, that's kind of weird honestly like yesterday was actually a pretty good day it's actually been a pretty good day today i have like an appointment that i gotta go to and stuff which like i think in a few hours and stuff which i'm gonna try to get there and stuff actually um it's a doctor's appointment mm -hmm. yeah and stuff but like since i don't got a phone and stuff because, I mean, I lost it, like, four months ago. Because I kind of been in the streets, like... I wouldn't say, like, obviously in the like, streets for four months straight. But, like, you know what I mean? Um, it's so hard to, like, keep your stuff. Because people be stealing from each other, you know? Like, everyone be trying to come up on people. Like, they always get stolen. That's why a lot of them um, be doing G. Because um, it's mostly G and perks here. At least that I know, uh, a lot of people been tr be try to stay up and stuff um, because they don't get so they don't get their stuff stolen, which is very hard. But yeah, like um, so, I'm really gonna go to the hospital. I'm about to hit the bus and stuff. Which I actually have like um, well, I have two dollars so far <laughs> and stuff. But yeah, and stuff. I was actually about to hit the bus legit right when you catch me and stuff. Which that's nice and stuff. What um, what type of uh, what type? So you by you doing the video, uh, have you uh, have legit? People... Actually, after like I guess um that that day, legit like right away, like uh, my cousins reached out for me. Well, they didn't reach out for me, but I went back home and stuff. And um, like legit, my parents told me that they they saw the video of me and stuff. And like a lot of my friends from school said they cried um, seeing me. Cause I mean, yeah, like they do know me and stuff. Like I always been a nice person. I mean, I am like, I'm just a shy. I'm, I'm like, I always been that shy girl, you know, that, you know, and I've been chubby too. So uh, it just has to do with a lot of insecurity, anxiety, depression. Um, Cause I have ADHD and so ADHD, like, um, my brain, honestly, like mentally, I'm thinking so fast that that's why I actually like doing the pranks because it slows me down, like mentally, to catch up with my physical, basically. Because I'd be doing, like, I mean, sometimes, not that I'd be doing too much, but people with ADHD, I mean, it comes in a lot of forms. Like, we always misplace things. We're always, like, I'm always losing stuff and stuff, and it's so annoying, especially since, like, I'm homeless now. I mean, there is some people that would take advantage of that. Like, I've, I have had, like, girls, um, guys come up on me, like, legit, like, like, still, like, uh, like my lighters or whatever you know what i mean because i always misplace things or when i'm like letting them borrow it like i'll forget to ask but i'll for forget to ask for it back because i'll be distracted because I'll, I'll easily get distracted on stuff like kind of like a squirrel like i'll be like oh what's that like 
I don't know, it's just, it's very weird, like, everyone has their ADHD differently, but definitely, I think that's, like, the most biggest issue that, that's why I'm doing perks, it's just legit my depression, anxiety, because I get it, like, I get, like, really, like, um, my anxiety kind of goes up, you know what I mean, like, I actually, like, one way, it's, like, I bite my nails a lot, so that's why I always have short nails and stuff, and, like, I'd be overthinking things, I'd be disassociating and stuff, and I don't know, but honestly, nature, I love nature, though, but I feel like I've been getting better on the, on my leg, honestly, like, the witch has actually has been helping and stuff for it to rest and stuff, um, I just hate, like, I hate the healing process, it takes forever. You mentioned uh, that you started working when you were 16. You're yeah, a hard worker. Actually, You've had yeah. a lot of jobs, and you what, you had two jobs at one point. Yeah, when I was 17. Yeah, actually, like, I mean, it's not that I'm lazy, honestly. That's not even the issue. Like, I can easily go back. I could easily have gotten a job again and done the same thing, like, hide my addiction, get my... I used to, like, actually get... Like, I'll get 100 perks. I'll buy it. It'll be, like, 300 bucks back then like three something and i'll make it last like a month and i'll just go to work like you know perked out but the thing is i i look normal because my adhd like i go so fast you know what i mean that so it slows me down so i mean i, I could get prescriptions for adhd like i know there is prescriptions but it doesn't work for everyone and stuff and i mean i come from a family like we're Mex I'm mexican and stuff so like uh, my dad he actually he's an immigrant and my parents are immigrants you know and so like me my life has we never really had money to begin with like my dad taught me how to be a hard worker i was raised by him because actually my mom got depressed she got postpartum depression at least that's what i think uh, because she actually left to Mexico for therapy so it was just me and my dad like at a young age and stuff so that's why I'm like such a daddy's girl or definitely I I hang out with more male free, male figures like just because I don't know I think it's that love I don't know I just I love caring for for guys like I mean it's weird, like, it sounds weird, you know, but it's because my dad, like, I mean, he taught me, he legit taught me, like, the way of life, like, um, he legit, at 18, he legit came here to America, and he actually was sell watches and stuff, and to the construction workers and stuff, and, like, what I hate is that, like, he had, a, like, a rougher life, and what I hate, like, the thing is, like, he never has led addiction, like, like he has never really been addicted to anything. Like he has always been able, like something he's really strong at that like I am envious of is that he, he legit can control himself. He legit has n never like let the, like any sort of addiction get to him like legit and stuff. And, and legit he has had it worse than me and stuff. And me, like I, I like legit let that addiction hit me you know what I mean like I let you know the pills like um I don't know it's just it's very hard it is hard it's hard um to deal with issues like that mentally you know it's all a mental process because my dad like I mean legit like um I don't know I'm just disappointed like in myself you know like it's very hard because I'm very hard on myself it's very hard for me to ask for help because I was raised by a male figure and so I feel like a lot of males legit like they just it's very hard for them to ask for help like um you know even like because I legit would try to like even some of my homies you know what I mean that are homeless like legit they won't let me help them you know what I mean after they have helped me you know what I mean and I'll just be like oh like I don't know I'll be, be like clothes or like you know what I mean like I don't know just stuff like that or like um stuff from the store like you know, like, they, they just don't let me help and stuff. And it's, like, I don't know. Sometimes, like, I'll be, like, ugh, you know? Like, ugh, what the hell? You yeah. know, but it kind of makes sense why, for me, like, I don't ask for help and stuff. Because a lot of my, actually, a lot of my family members didn't know I was homeless. And, I mean, and stuff, like, um, legit, like, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's embarrassing, you know? But, stuff. but, uh. 
it's just uh, temporary, you know? Uh, yeah, you, people honestly. make mistakes, you know? Yeah. And you can't be exactly like your dad. You can't be exactly like your mom. I you know. gotta live your own life, make your own mistakes, and learn from them. I know. So, I just feel like definitely like we always want to make them proud and stuff, but sometimes I feel like it, if definitely at a young age, I feel like my dad put so much on me. Uh, he let me grow up too fast. Like, he didn't let me believe in Santa Claus or anything like that. You know, he actually told me at a young age that, you know, adults lie to kids, you know. Because like, I always said it, like, at a young kid, I'm like, why would, why would parents lie to their kids, you know, saying that Santa Claus, you know what I mean, like, is legit. Like, if Santa Claus is not real, you know, it doesn't make sense, like, and stuff. And so I always... Uh, my dad would tell me straight up, like, you know, like, yeah, like, there's people out there, like, life costs money, you know what I mean? Nothing is for free, don't ever take anything for free, that's why I always be telling people, like, I always be telling guys, like, like, because they'll be, like, giving me stuff, you know what I mean? Like, and I'll be like, what do you want? I'm not gonna lie, out here, um, for girls, a lot of girls do, like, legit, it gets to the point where a lot of girls actually, like, Legit, they'll start, you know, doing shit to get their substance. And I think, I, I don't know, like, just losing yourself to that point. I mean, I don't know their background, you know what I mean? I mean, I think it's just crazy how much, like, um, there is to, like, addiction. Like, it can really, it can really change someone, you know what I mean? Like, like you need it that bad that you're going to, like, I don't know, I guess, like dishonor yourself not dishonor yourself but like literally like lose yourself that much into your addiction you know and i have had a, like one thing that i am proud of is that i still don't do that like i don't do dates they call them dates you know and you know what's crazy it's a lot of actually like mexican men like or hispanic you know like a lot of the latino like and i like there is a lot of furs and it's just kind of crazy to me you know what i mean but one day you see you see yourself off of here, off of the streets and uh, mm -hmm. back home and working, right? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, like um, with my parents, it's very hard because I feel like they just make me want to smoke it more because since I got back home, like it, it's hard for, I feel like it's hard for a lot of Mexican parents, a lot of Latino, Latino community, like the Latin community, like they're so hard on us. They're so hard on us youngsters because I am first generation. And we're always trying to, like, make them proud of us and stuff. But, you know what I mean? I mean, they don't, because they don't really, like, I mean, obviously, they don't live in America. I mean, they didn't experience the America, um, the American, like, um, being here at a young age, you know what I mean? Like, going to school here. Because we, I have learned, like, the industry, you know what I mean? It's not fair. Like, I don't know. I just feel like my dad has always done everything right, you know what I mean? Like, he sells at the swamp meet. So at a young age, like, I, I've been selling at the Swami, like, I think at nine I started, nine years old. I always kind of been working with my dad. I always helped him. And so then at 16, I got a job and stuff. And, you know, I was doing school, too. And I was working five days a week, actually, like a normal, you know what I mean? And at 17, I got two jobs. And I was able to get my car, which my dad helped me, like, pick it out. Like, we went to the junkie. We got, like, a car, like, a Honda. 2002 accord and stuff and it was like a thousand five hundred the car and stuff which i didn't really like took care of it um i and a lot of people that did wanted to be my friends because of the car honestly that's what i that's what i'm learning from that that experience back then because legit like once like they crashed it because one of my friends crashed it um they didn't pay me back for it obviously like legit like no one like people stop talking to me and stuff or at least like you know so-called friends you know what i mean like legit it just shows you that legit like if people are nice to you and stuff like i mean it depends on the person but most likely it's either because they want something off you or either because you have money or you benefit them yeah, i feel i mean stuff i feel like a lot in in society, I feel like a lot of people um, be like, I don't know, the way they treat people nowadays, it's like, they, it seems like 
in your value. Like, you know what I mean? If you have a lot of money, they're going to treat you like a human being. They're going to give you respect. But, like, if you're homeless or, like, if you don't have money or, like, your social status or you look, you know what I mean, a certain way, you know what I mean, or you don't have the newest brands, like, they kind of dishumanize you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like nowadays a lot of people, and, I mean, a lot of people nowadays, they just be treating people... They just humanize people just because we're homeless. Like, legit, I mean, I have had people legit, like, legit, um, kind of act like we're not there, you know what I mean? Like, we're invisible and stuff. Like, kind of just not give us respect. Like, even in stores and stuff. And stuff, even if we're just buying something, you know what I mean? And stuff. Um, legit, like, I don't know. It's, it really shows me a perspective, which I have learned and stuff. You know what I mean? Because once you have lost everything, you know what I mean? You can finally, like, um, I feel like you can finally, like, honestly be happy. Like, because you're going to, like, you're going to you're gonna grow with that experience. You're going to be humble. And once you, if you do succeed in life, you know what I mean? You're going to have that perspective that not a lot of people have. Because I feel like it is, the most thing people are scared of is to be homeless. Like, to legit be in the streets and not have anything. You know? Well, you know, Emily, that you matter, that mm. you that you matter as a person. You're important. Yeah. And right now, all this is just temporary. You know, you've mm. made some mistakes, but you're going to get back Definitely. on your feet, especially yeah. especially if you just keep your head on straight. You seem like a really good person with a really good soul, <laughs> a big heart. So continue to do that. Keep taking care of yourself before anybody else yeah. and just get better. So it was really nice seeing you. Thank you for the update. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm going to put your... I didn't your... know that a lot of people actually wanted to help help out and stuff. Like, that's always been hard for me. Like, I don't know. I just feel... I, I think, again, because I was raised by my dad, like, a male perspective. Like, I just feel like... Um, I don't know, like, you know, I just don't like... like it's hard to ask for help. Definitely. That's something a lot of people struggle with. But sometimes we all need help, you know? And so yeah. uh, what I'll do is I'm going to put your cash app in the mm -hmm. video description so that people can help you like a ride with like an uber you'll have a ride to your doctor's appointment right in a few yeah, hours so maybe yeah stuff. you can take the bus so if people want to send you money for the bus yeah. or for uber they mm -hmm. can do it via your cash app okay so i'll put that yeah. in the video description thank you for talking to me emily please stay yeah. safe out here thank you and uh we'll stay in touch okay yeah. Honestly, like, I mean, I guess, you know, it was meant to happen. I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't think I expected you to legit, like, come up on me and stuff. But, but that's crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, but that's how you need, you need, you yeah. need to know that people are asking for your well-being. How are you? They want to give you words of encouragement and that you can get better, okay? So don't, you know, tr please battle, please fight and win your uh, depression, <laughs> your anxiety, yeah. and you're not alone out here, okay? People think about you and pray for you, okay? Yeah, thank you, like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I guess so, but thank you, like so. Legit, I don't know, like, I feel like what you're doing is honestly, like, really helpful to, like, legit, a lot of people, like, a lot of people don't know, like, being homeless is hard, and, like, it's not easy to make bucks. Like, I have had legit, like, I have, like, legit even, like, um, clean tires, and, like, and like legit, they will call the cops on us, or like, they'll like the the stores will like you know be like, oh, we're trespassing, gotta leave property, and then, and then it's people legit working, like a lot of like some of them do be working and stuff, you know, it's very hard, you know. But thanks. <laughs> Don't be sad, okay? Don't be sad. Keep your head up, okay? Yeah. Just it won't be hard. You won't be out here forever. Just remember that people think about you, people love you, you matter. People care for you. Yeah. We'll continue to pray for you that you get better and you have the you get the courage to finally get treatment and just get get on yeah. a better road, okay? Because you deserve Thank it. You. Your family deserves it. Your dad's been working hard and he yeah. wants the best for you, right? Yeah, he does. He, he wants. Know. He loves you. He wants the best for you, even though it might come across as different when you. I think that he just doesn't know how to express it because it is very hard. Like I mean. It, you know, they can be really mean sometimes, like hurtful words, but I know it comes out of love and I know it's them, like, not probably knowing what to do because it is scary. Like, how do you handle, like, you know, if you had, like, a child that was addicted or, you know what I mean? Like, how do you, like, you know, handle that, you know? You know, like, you, you kind of feel like you went wrong in the situation, you know? And sometimes it can, like, you know, your words can come out as kind of, like, you make us feel like, you know 
like a burden or that you know you didn't want us to be born like sometimes it can feel like that you know but well, don't yeah. let that don't let that get to you i think it's just a miscommunication give him the yeah. benefit of doubt and uh He'll give you benefit of doubt, and hopefully you guys could meet in the middle and yeah. kind of just, you know, re yeah. repair your relationship, okay? Please get yeah. better, Emily, okay? Take I care. Will. Thank you.